Welcome to week six of our Organic Disciples devotion. We're gonna be focusing on joyful generosity. Today, our question is, what does it look like when I learn to give like Jesus? Listen to this powerful description of our Savior Jesus, the most generous being in the universe. Philippians 2, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. The goal of becoming more and more like Jesus is the bullseye. It's the center of the focus of the Christian life. And as we become more like Jesus, our actions, our words, but our thoughts and our motives, the driving forces behind all we do are transformed. Jesus was joyfully generous by the very nature of who he was as God in human flesh. He continues now to be joyfully generous with us, even from glory, even from heaven. And so if we're going to become more like Jesus, we need to look at this topic of joyful generosity. And in this passage that Sherry just read, in this amazing Christ hymn contained in Philippians chapter 2, we see Jesus leaving the glory of heaven, leaving a place of authority and power, and coming with absolute surrender, giving up joyfully for the sake of us, his beloved children, the glory of heaven for for the stench of a stable. He gave up angelic praise for the sake of us and he took upon himself the, the scowls and the hatred and the mocking of human beings. Jesus was so generous, he gave up all that he had and all that he was, except for his divinity, somehow in the mystery of his Trinitarian glory, he came as one of us. And this is the, the, the wonder of this passage, that the, this word kenosis means he emptied himself. He emptied himself, and yet he maintained his divinity so he could die as God for us, but he was human, fully like us, so he could feel the pain that we would have felt. There is no being in all the universe more generous than Jesus. And we're his followers. So this is the goal for us to grow in joyful generosity. And you might think, man, it's tough enough to be generous. I'm expected to be joyful. But when you read the scriptures, you discover that's the case. When you watch Jesus, who for the joy set before him endured the cross. May God grow our hearts and our lives, our motives and our souls to be more like Jesus. May we become joyfully generous. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for generously giving your life so that we can have life and have it to the full. Now, as we go out in our day, may we keep our eyes open, our ears open, our hearts open, our lives open, and be generous with those that we encounter and give us opportunities to share the good news of yourself to those around us, that we would be organic, in the way that we present your love, that we'd be generous in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.